You want to sit up a little bit? But this is natural, Dan. Okay. This is Stephen and it's natural. All right, go ahead. So, uh, okay. So, yeah, for probably two years or so, was praying what to do with Delta and how to, I guess, move from there, stay, don't, kind of what to do with all of that. And then I guess it was <clears throat> around November last year, I get a call from Robert, which uh, I know social media wasn't a thing back then, but he built the number one show truck in the world. Go look it up. <laughs> uh, charisma. And, yeah, charisma. And uh, we haven't been talking in a while because I haven't built anything like that in, what, 14 years? Something, something like that. And he said he was uh, praying one day and told God he wanted to sell his shop, Alamo. And um, he said, God gave him my name. I'm like, well, that's pretty specific. So he asked if I wanted to uh, buy it. So of course I said yes, because you know, that he's got a whole folder of Steven's ideas. Yes, that uh, is a true story. On my computer, I have a folder labeled Steven's Adventures. <laughs> and uh, most of these ideas, he has all, he's the dreamer, I'm the the paper, the, you know, put it into process and make it happen. And most of his ideas, I'm like, no, no, no. All of them. <laughs> and so uh, he came to me with the Alamo and I said, yes. And I'm normally the one a little bit more reserved about the funds and the money, but there was just a kind of a sense of, of peace and calm with it, that this is what we were supposed to do. So we started that, that process and you started your, your fast in December? Yeah, so I think, yeah, we started the whole thing in December. Yeah, and I was like, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fast food basically until the sun goes down. Didn't realize it was gonna take five months, so that's why I looked a little skinny. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so we started in December. Then we went into the 21 day fasting and praying with the church. So we did that and I just continued it on until we signed. Today? Um, today on April 23rd mm -hmm. so almost five months later well, so I guess five months later here we are yeah it's definitely been God's had his hand in this thing the entire time because you know you went to a conference deal and so to seed well so if you would look at our bank account and you know our experience you know we had a previous failed business with the smoothie shop you know COVID just really kind of made that very difficult for us and we took a big hit um and so we did decide to to shut it down and so you would think with just our resumes and everything that us purchasing this large business we aren't qualified i guess to kind of do that and we don't have the funds in the bank account to back it up and they told us that in order to move forward with all of this and was this december or january it may even have been january we had to put down a good faith deposit. So basically for our good faith deposit, which means that we will be purchasing this large business for everybody to move forward and put in the time to work this deal up, we had to cut a $8,500 check. And <laughs> the down payment amount had a lot of zeros um, and it, we did not have those zeros in our bank account, but we said, you know, we are having faith that God has brought this opportunity to us and he's going to see us through to the end. So we cut that check. And if the deal did not go through and we couldn't provide all the funds and all the qualifications that we needed, we would lose that money. And so I said, we're, we're going to do it. The calm and the peace continued. We reached out to different avenues and they were all no's um, providing for the, the down payment amount. Uh, which we were expecting that was going to be about $400,000 is what they estimated for us. So I went to this conference and it actually, they had it for free this year. So, I, and I saw on the schedule that there was like a tithing and offering. And so I said, okay, well, I'm going to give, but what, what do you, I was praying to God, you know, what should I give? And he was like a hundred bucks. So I'm like, okay, that seems reasonable for what you would pay to attend one of these conferences. So. I got there, you know, my first day waiting for my aunt to get there and um, I did the $100 gift. 
uh, or tithe, whatever you want to call it. I guess it would be more of an offering. Then uh, the next day went and they did kind of a, an offering period each day. And so I didn't, you know, fill anything uh, kind of on the next day. And then the final one, they said, this gift here is for sowing a seed. And we believe that if you're believing for something and you sow the seed, it's going to be returned to you, you know, five, 10 and a hundred fold. And so I felt God kind of moving in my heart. I'm like, okay, look, you know, we're believing for 400,000. I've already done a hundred. I need to do 300 more. And I was like, I think I, you know, I have like maybe 200 cash. I'll do the other hundred on the app. And I was wet in my wallet and I had three $100 bills. And I had remembered a few days before the conference, my mom said, Hey, I have, um, a hundred dollar bill, can I give it to you? And you just transfer me the hundred. And Steven's like, why is she doing that? That's kind of weird. And I was like, well, she just doesn't use the cash. She wants to have it in her account. So I did it. And it just so happened that, um, it lined up to the exact amount of money that I needed to sow that seed. And obviously here we are closing. We are making this purchase and we had the funds provided. Everything worked out accordingly. And the only thing we have paid out of our pocket is that $8,500 faith deposit. And so here we are. Yeah, which we could tell more of this when we go with Patrick, because when I first got the amount that we needed, I'm like, where the heck am I going to get this money? I'm thinking of everything that I can sell to get that money. I'm like, man, I can sell this, 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 whatever. And Patrick's like, are you going to do this or is God going to do it? He said, and Patrick said to you that we were going to walk into this without anything out of our own pocket. And we have like the Dow payment has been done. The working capital has been done. The only thing we did was the $8,500 just to lock in the deal. And uh, like you said, our credentials, if you will, says that none of this would would, uh, would work. And even other successful business people said, that it would not work. And I'm like, well, God doesn't operate in the world. And this thing has been his plan from day one. So, yeah, I sat still afterwards after I got my last no. And I was irritated because I was like thinking to myself, you know, faith without works is dead. So God was like, I don't need you to work right now. I got it. After I got my last no, I text you and I said, I just got the last no. I don't know where else to go. I'm not going to get irritated and say a bunch of, stupid things uh, I'll talk to you when I get home so we did and I was like man I'm gonna call Robert tomorrow and kind of tell him well the next day came and I didn't call him and I'm like man just like the Holy Spirit tell me like not to so I didn't and then Robert called me the following day and was like hey I'm gonna I'm gonna do all this for you and we're gonna we're gonna make this work and like he basically Furnished us all of the money to get all of this stuff done. It was exactly what was said. We we so did, and Patrick said that it wasn't going to be uh, our old money, and it wasn't. And uh, it has been a true, like God thing and blessing from this whole from the start. So it's a good story, and we're excited about what's to come and all the the opportunities that are already lined up and in place before we even sign papers. So now that the, the ink is dried, we're, we're ready to go. Now I get to go eat breakfast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's been five minutes in the waiting. So, hope it doesn't burn my tongue. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs>